Twigging Steve, reviewing beers at your service. Welcome to another SSBBR. Um, this one is another, it's, it's not a, a bargain beer. This one, and I do them from time to time, this one is more of a request from my dad. Uh, he's a massive fan of the World Top Brewery. I'm a massive fan of the World Top Brewery as well, I think their beers are sublime. Uh, brewed with purely natural ingredients. Um, a local brewery, it's quite a small mi micro brewery, would you say? I've never been actually, I've never been to the brewery site itself, I don't know how big it is, but it's a micro brewery up in Humminby in uh, North Yorkshire, just outside Filey, just in just uh, at the end of the uh, Yorkshire Wolds, the Wolds Way, which I've walked a few times before actually. It's a beautiful walk. If you ever want to get out there and do a walk that's a little bit different, a little bit alternative to the Pennines or to the Coast to Coast, the Wolds Way is a nice little walk. Anyway, I, I do digress, I'm talking about other things now. Uh, so back to the beer. So this is Scarborough Fair IPA. My dad loves this. I think he likes this IPA because um, unlike many IPAs these days that, have got these, that are packed with these massive citrusy hops uh, that taste like sherbet and whatever else, uh, the, this Scarborough IPA is probably a little bit more subtle, not quite as punchy, not quite as sort of like leaving your f f mouth like it needs. It, the, problem, the problem with some of these really citrusy hops is make, you th they make, they make your, your mouth feel like it's, it's clawing away. It's got the, and it, it can be a little bit sickly after a while, I find. Uh, a little bit too much. And you don't always want that with a beer. Sometimes you want something that's uh, moorish, something that you can keep going back to, something that's not too like. You know, it, lovely flavours. Some of these new modern hops, you smell the beers and it's almost like they've had additives added. You know, they've, they've got these weird, they've got these amazing fruity flavours. Which is and smells, which is fantastic, but sometimes on the on the palate they're really dry, they're really bitter, and they just claw away at your taste buds, and they can linger for quite a while sometimes. And I'm not always keen on that. Sometimes I appreciate that, and sometimes I like that. But like my dad, actually, I find it a bit too much, and that all IPAs seem to be like that now. So here we go, Scarborough Fair, Wall Top Brewery. I'm going to get straight in there. I'm going to stop talking. I'm taking the top of it, they've got their very own crowns, Wall Top. You may well find this if you if you live in a Tesco's or an Asda or something near your or around Yorkshire way. I think even around where we live, we sometimes find these beers in our supermarkets, and they may be at a bargain price. Okay, I don't know how much we'd have paid, maybe two fifty a bottle or something like that. I don't know. So there we go, nice open glass. Give it a little swirl, and straight away I'm getting. Um, really really nice sort of I'm getting a, a nice malty note from that actually I am getting citrus I'm getting citrus I'm getting lemonade I'm getting a little bit of a limey zest from that uh, slight grapefruit as well slight orange you know but I'm getting a maltiness coming through as well which gives it that traditional sort of more quintessential British sort of smell you know I'm going to swish that around a little bit. It's not a great class to swish with this, actually. Oh, I'm just trying to get that opened up a little bit. It's a little bit cold, actually. But yeah, it does smell. It smell, smells like it's British. Maybe not quintessentially British as such, but it does got, it smells got a British quality, maybe because of the balance of the malts that are in there. Um, from the malts, you are getting like a breadiness to it. Uh, but you getting a sweetness on the smell as well, a nice sweetness coming through. Um, you are getting slight purple violets coming through there as well, not massively. Purple violet sweets, not massively, they're in there somewhere. But yeah, okay, I'm going in. Going in for the kill. Cheers everybody. sit back and oh that's lovely oh it's lovely tell you what it reminds me of a little bit before they started watering it down Marston's used to do um, their English IPA or English pale ale they called it it reminds me how that used to taste it's got this lovely um, it's slightly sweet it's got a lovely balance it is slightly bitter it is slightly citrusy but it's very drinkable it's something you can keep going back to and knocking back I'm drinking that quite cold and it, it suits that because the, the hops still pierce through. You can drink that quietly. You can see the condensation on the glass. It's it's quite cool that. 
you're getting a slight spiciness from the hops. I reckon there's English hops in there, which I describe as ginger. I like gingery flavour you get. Um, when you have gingery food, like lemon and gingery sort of um, spiced infused Thai food or uh, curries, um, it reminds me of that a little bit. Or like a stem ginger biscuit. I'm getting a little bit of that coming through. And people would argue that it doesn't taste anything like that, but to me it does. Um, but that, even so, it's got a spicy note to it. Uh, I do apologise if I've got uh, quite a lot. I try to reduce my errs to a minimal, but I do find it quite difficult. Uh, he says, let's have a little So I, what I'm getting for that, I'm getting like, an, getting like lemon, nice citrusy note on that. On the flavour, it's lovely balanced with, it, with the hops, with the malts. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a crystal malt in there. You're getting a slight caramelliness from the malt. And I feel this beer does get a little bit more bitter as it goes down. And you do get a little bit of an afterburn on the afterburn. Burp, it's lovely. You're getting a lovely sort of slightly spicy, fruity, lemony. Lemony flavour to it, which has got this like biscuitiness to it. To, to it's almost like, like a lemon meringue. You could describe it as that a little bit, actually. Anyway. It says here, an India pale ale full of coastal harmony. Strong and well hopped for the voyage, sending IPA from the walled to the world. Interestingly brewed with pale, predominantly walled grown malt, for pale malt, yeah. Uh, for a base, um, a triple hop blend. Those hops, I, I've got a feeling one of the hops is there is, is a Goldings for sure. Uh, I reckon there's a cast, I think there might be a Cascade hop in there. I'm getting that cascadiness from it. I might be wrong. Uh, and then the other hop. Could be anything. Some sort of hedgerow type hop. It's got like a hedgerow smell to it as well. Going through it. I might be wrong. Hot blend and maize for the head retention. You hear that? They're using a blend, a nice hot blend and maize for head retention. They're not using any uh, additional chemicals. Uh, Wells and Youngs. Hope you're listening. For the head retention, uh, this IPA is also certified gluten free with uh, a gluten content that is below the codex standard of 20 ppm. I ain't got a clue what that means, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, an ideal beer to serve with hot, full flavoured menus, yeah, definitely. Full flavoured, yeah, it will pierce through hot, uh, uh, spicy food and things that are really. I'm going to put it all in there, look at that. It's not conditioned. It's nice, it's got a nice clearness. We'll talk about the colour a little bit. Yeah, it's a nice sort of uh, golden looking beer. Almost almost pilsner in its appearance. No, more pale actually. More pale. More pale than that. And I really, really like it. I really like it. I would advise this to anybody. I'm going to review this beer as if it's just a beer and it's not got a price uh, I'm not going to use a normal scale um, in fact no, I'm not going to put a number I can't put a number on it I can't use my normal scale so I'm not going to put a number to it all I can say is if you see this beer and you fancy going to Yorkshire and you fancy something that's an IPA that's full of British character with I think a little hint of America in there as well I think I think there is a cascade in there I might be wrong um, then go for this it's lovely lovely well but it's brutal quality brood of quality ingredients see this try it buy it like it tell your friends about it it's not too citrusy it's not clawing away at your taste buds for forever and a day it's lovely until next time guys i'll see you around enjoy drinking